Hello everyone, good evening to all, this is Mike Padawan, we're back to our latest uh, analysis, this is our weekend edition of weather analysis here at Typhoon 2000, and this is for today, Friday until Monday, October 27th to 30th, 2023, and this is our English version in partnership with Naga College Foundation, about this power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Ligacion and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado of the 3rd District of Camarini Sur. Well, it looks like we are going to have a busy November. It's uh, quite alarming since, uh, like I said in the past uh, few uh, analysis, that whenever there's uh, a quiet uh, month, Proceeding, okay. Uh, the uh, following month, we will be having uh, more tropical cyclone formation, and uh, that's what the computer models are uh, saying at this point in time. The uh, most of the global models are predicting not just one, but two or three tropical cyclones are expected to form within uh, November 1st until November 15th, okay? So we must be prepared for any uh, possible uh, threat to our country, but let's hope and pray all of them must, uh, all of them will recurve, but it's up to God on where the system will go. He is the one controlling it, Mother Nature, so we are just here to advise the public on what to do, what to uh, prepare, on this uh, potential uh, tropical systems that is set to enter the Philippine area responsibility this month, this coming month of November. So most likely after All Saints Day, we might be seeing some tropical cyclone activity. So let's begin with, uh, but before we uh, begin with our update, I would like to again promote uh, the uh, Comunidad Climate Action Center. Just visit the website typhoon2000.ph and click on the banner for you to uh, answer some Google form. And then upon submitting uh, within the day or next, Mr. Aaron Cabasal, the uh, data climate scientist, will contact you. Or you can uh, contact him at 0976-163-7245 or email him at iron.cabasal at co to ask what about, uh, to ask all about this uh, Climate Action Center. It's a great tool for you to uh, be uh, prepared this, in this time of climate change, particularly not just typhoons, but any kind of uh, severe weather, including earthquake, including uh, earthquakes and the uh, mosquito dengue index okay so there's uh, lots uh, okay and uh, also uh, climate action center includes uh, flood uh, warnings that you can use so uh, don't forget to visit the website uh, upon so so don't forget to fill up the form if you are an LGU company or uh, if you are an LGU or a company that's willing to have this kind of uh, uh, center, okay? So let's begin now. Here's the latest graph set for today, Friday, until tomorrow, Saturday. Since our uh, weather analysis is until Monday, so we are now going to uh, extend this forecast until Tuesday. So this uh, graph set uh, continues to show this shallow LPA. Most likely this will be the one that could pose a threat to our country after All Saints Day. That will be November 2, 3, 4, something like that. Okay. And uh, currently for the past three days, it's quasi stationary, barely moving to the south of Guam. And it's still embedded within this uh, active monsoon trough, which is also extending across Mindanao, Visayas, Mimaropa, Palawan, and Sulu Archipelago. So expect thunderstorms during the weekend. While here over the uh, 
na Batanes, Mabuhin Kumbab Islands, the coastal areas of northern and eastern Luzon, including Bicol region, will be under the influence of will be under the influence of the increasing northeasterly wind flow, which could become the northeast monsoon in the next couple of days. It depends on how strong this LPA will enhance it. And we have a uh, frontal system here, stationary front, which is expected to move towards the northeast. And uh, the weather conditions within this uh, northeasterlies will be uh, good, except for passing rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening through the weekend. So that's the uh, latest from our GraphSat. Let's take a look now at our fast animation. So it's clear, all clear across the Philippine Islands with only uh, some thunderstorms, particularly here over Davao and Soxygen. There's a strong thunderstorm right now. And uh, here's the shallow LPA, which is still trying to organize as of this time. And if we take a look now at our zoom in satellite animation, you can clearly see here the uh, uh, thunderstorm activity across portions of central Luzon, particularly over Pangasinan and Ifugao Benguet area. And we have also here some uh, severe thunderstorms across Davao and uh, nearby areas of southern Mindanao, including Soxygen and northeasterly wind flow doing some isolated patches of rainfall across uh, Bicol region. And now let's take a look at the easterlywave.com. The ensemble on the European model, it shows here increasing uh, lines, okay, of a possible uh, tropical depression or tropical storm forming here to the east of Bicol region, which is expected to uh, bring uh, rainfall after all since day so we are keeping an eye on this uh, weather system now let's take a look at the wind forecast from the European model courtesy of windy.com for the next three days until Monday so through the weekend we expect uh, increasing winds of the northeasterly wind flow across the eastern sections and northern sections of Luzon including Batanes so you can see it here clearly the uh, winds is starting to pick up and uh, on Sunday there might be a possibility of a shear line affecting Bicol and uh, Eastern Visayas and on Monday there you go the uh, northeasterly wind flow is, uh, is still expected to affect these areas and here's now the LPA that we are keeping an eye okay that's the shallow one here so from this area, it's starting to started to move, uh, starting to move towards this area, and then if we move forward until uh, November five, the ECMWF uh, on Tuesday, October thirty first, shows the LPA moving closer towards Bicol and Eastern Visayas, and on Wednesday, first day of uh, uh, November, the LPA is now here to the east of Bicol trying to uh, organize and on November 2 it will start to become active to the north of Guatanuanes November 3 there's a possibility of a uh, rapid intensification because of very warm sea surface temperature here as well as the oceanic heat content is uh, really uh, that high okay that could uh, boost the energy of this low pressure system and on uh, Friday evening, it is likely to become a tropical depression or tropical storm uh, along the uh, coastal waters of uh, northern Bicol. And Saturday, it will start to move towards central Luzon, making landfall over northern Quezon, Polillo area. In the evening of uh, Saturday, November 4, then uh, Sunday, it will uh, emerge over the West Philippine Sea after crossing Central Luzon. So again, this forecast is around 15 to 30% 30, 30 probability since it's uh, around uh, 7 to 8 days from now. So anything is possible, any changes. So let's hope that it will not uh, pass to our areas. 
and it will just remain over at C but we still don't know uh, we will uh, give you the very latest again on Monday if uh, there's already some new information about this uh, potential LPA now as you can see here the 500 MB uh, vorticity uh, plot shows the uh, tropical system moving southwestward passing over the coastal waters of Bicol region and uh, making landfall over Polilio so the track is doing uh, going this way okay and then from here it will start to move into the uh, central portion into the central portion of the zone so that is the track future track of this uh, potential uh, cyclone likely to become a tropical storm or even a severe tropical storm it depends on how fast it will intensify based on the european model that will be on November 4, on evening on November 3 to November 4. But again, the uh, probability is still very low. So changes on the tracks will still be expected. And let's hope it won't push through. Okay. But it looks we are uh, going into the situation that this may uh, become a, uh, uh, a threat to our country after all saints day now for the american model it shows a different thing okay let me begin here we go this is now the lpa it will st stationary to the east of the philippines and another one will form here before it will uh, move back towards the zone on november 8 and then there's another one on november 10 and 11 entering par Okay, so that's the uh, scenario of this uh, weather system. This is the American model. So, again, uncertainty is, remains high since this is on November 8 or 9. So, we still don't know what will be the uh, final track of that. But at least you have a glimpse of what things are set to come. Okay, so please take all necessary precautions of this possible uh, threat from multiple cyclones and here's november 11 another one and there's another one here too okay so it's gonna be a busy november let's hope and pray all of them will start to move towards the north so here's the uh, rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days until monday so we could see the effects of the northeasterly wind flow or the weak amihan bringing some rain showers and thunderstorms across the vehicle region becoming more frequent over the eastern sections particularly Catanduanes so that's it that's the latest for this uh, late Friday evening and this is valid until Monday and I hope you'll have a great weekend uh, happy Halloween to all and stay safe always thank you so much for watching our channel